No, no, no! Darn it! Welcome back, LEGO Builders and Minecrafters, to episode 23 of Building Mumbo's Base out of LEGO. So that last clip was taken about two and a half days ago, and the problem there was when I was plating off all of the pillars to cover up all of the random colors inside, there were some pretty huge gaps uh, right before these angle sections. And so I spent a long time going back and forth trying to figure everything out, so I probably spent the better part of 7 to 10 hours fixing all of it. And I finally found the problem, everything was like an extra stud too tall and I added like some extra parts and I had to do a couple of change arounds with the brackets. But it's all fixed now and I'm really glad it is and the pillars are looking even more amazing. So now all we have left to do is build up the rest of these smaller 2x2 two two gray pillars. And a bricklink order came, so let's unbox that right now. Okay, so I did in fact already open up this bricklink order, and in here should be a lot more gray and dark bluish gray and like olive green those colors for the pillars and one thing that you can see with this and that i'm a little bit annoyed at as well is that the seller did stack all the bricks together but i'll let him get away with it because he is a very new seller he only had like 30 orders i think which is very small on BrickLink. But now i guess i have to pry all of these parts apart but with all these parts all we have left to do is, again, build up these pillars, so let's jump straight into a time lapse and build up the rest of these, hopefully. I'm done and that actually came up a little bit quicker than I was expecting but yeah I think I'm done all 64 of these gray pillars so that's all 64 of them the bigger ones are there the medium sized ones are in the middle and there are the small ones over to the left or right Ugh, I'm stupid with my directions but yeah all of them are now done and that is kind of surprising actually and I still have a lot of parts left over, so I still got quite a few parts left. And obviously I still need to build like these little connector parts that um, fit in between these and like connecting up with the pillars. So there's that still to do. And also of course there's like the cone thing that goes on top that will connect all these pillars together. But that will probably be for the next episode and i am just so glad that i got all these pillars done and now i could end the video here with us building up all the pillars or these little gray ones and also me fixing those pillars over there but i think that we need to put these pillars on those pillars over there that's a lot of pillars but yeah i think we can do it so what the heck, let's go ahead and do it now. Well, saying that this was not going to take a long time was definitely some famous last words because oh, this took so long. And at this point, there are still a bunch of problems with all these pillars. Like you can see there's like gaps and stuff. And I am going to have to fix that probably in the next episode, spend a bunch of time and do that. But this has taken 
way, way, way too long. But they are looking really, really cool. And I can barely fit them in one frame. They're so big. And yeah, they're they're just looking super, super amazing. But super grindy as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully in the next episode I can fix all these cracks. I think it has something to do with some of the pillars not being quite tall enough. Because I changed up some of them to have like another another plate in between and that sometimes fixes it but i am not really sure oh yeah another thing i did was place in a bricklink order for the chains so while we're waiting for that bricklink order to come we can definitely fix all these problems but yeah after completing this all we have left to do is the cone thing on the top and the chains Oh, and in case you guys want to see this actually on the mock over there, um, I, I'm too scared to actually move them over because they are really, really, really fragile. And so they're probably going to stay like this until I get all the problems worked out. I might even add in more lift arms or these Technic pieces on the underside so then everything stays together better. <laughs> but again, that's going to have to wait for the next episode. Oh, actually, just wait, I have one question for you guys. I got a bunch of Lego sets, and I was wondering if I should do, like, a Mega Haul, like, unboxing video. So, please tell me if you would like to see that. So, this episode was a lot of fixing all the problems. So, if you did enjoy, please leave a like on the video. If you're not subscribed, you should do that. And with that said, Gigahertz Productions! Out.